Show your face, you bitch! Easy, sugar. You'll wake the neighbors. Dean, it is so, so good to see you. I mean it. Look at you. Gone and got your family killed, all alone in the world. <laughs> That's too sweet. Excuse me, you're gonna have to give me a moment. Sometimes you gotta stop and smell the roses. I should send you straight back to hell. Oh, you should. But you won't. Then I know why. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Following in Daddy's footsteps, you want to make a deal. Little Sammy back from the dead, and let me guess, you're offering up your own soul? There are a hundred other demons who love to get their hands on it. And it's all yours. All you got to do is bring Sam back. You give me 10 years. 10 years, and then you come for me. You must be joking. That's the same deal you give everybody else. You're not everybody else. Why would I want to give you anything? Keep your gutter soul, it's too tarnished anyway. Nine years. No. Eight. <laughs> you keep going, I'll keep saying no. Okay, five years. Five years and my bill comes due. That's my last offer, five years or no deal. Make sure you bury Sam before he starts stinking up the joint. Wait! It's a fire sale and everything must go. What do I have to do? First of all, quit groveling. Needy guys are such a turn off. Look. Look, I shouldn't be doing this. I could get in a lot of trouble. But what can I say? I got a blind spot for you, Dean. You're like a puppy. You're just too fun to play with. I'll do it. You'll bring him back? I will. And because I'm such a saint, I'll give you one year and one year only. But here's the thing. If you try and welch or weasel your way out, then the deal is off. Sam drops dead, he's back to rotten meat in no time. So, it's a better deal than your dad ever got. What do you say? 